Welcome to another episode of For the Record on the Daily Gems Network. I'm your host, Kami Gomez. Today, Woo! It's your, it's your, no. Yo, it's your boy, Yo Chubbs, man. <laughs> they appreciate you for the snack. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you I don't, don't see, share these. What? First of all, you don't see our house rules. It says no eating over there. And you almost broke my chair. Now give me an Oreo. Hmm, now. I'm broken down. Hmm. Let me get one. I'm stingy. You can have that one. Oh, no, what? no, no, no. No, that's the, no, that's the part with the... All right, that's cool. I should have gave you the... All right. That's cool, though. Yo, Chubb. Mm-hmm. Yo. Yo. How are you? I'm good. I can't complain. I need Where? more water for these. <laughs> <I'm a little laughs> parched. Where are you from? Philadelphia. Okay. So repping Philly in Philly the house. in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I have like a little thing about like people from Philly. What's that? I don't. I'll tell you later. But was is this? Like I don't know. I've had. I've yeah. This is like an off camera thing. But okay. Yeah, definitely have a thing with like people from Philly. But <laughs> <laughs> as we were saying, Philly, you drawn. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> well, listen, I mean, people have seen you um, just on their For You page on Instagram, um, your funny videos, your skits mm -hmm. going crazy. Have you always been funny? Yeah, I've always been funny since I was a kid. Okay. Class uh, clown? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I was more misunderstood because <laughs> they didn't really like it like that. Like, they didn't really like the things uh -huh. I was saying. I was just on the phone with one of my friends the other day. I probably shouldn't even say tell that joke that joke is messed up actually it's a canceled joke oh so you got all this spooky stuff near me <laughs> um but like the, i just just say crazy things but i was just like really funny i think i was just a person that everybody liked to be around good vibes good energy but mm -hmm. i wasn't like one of those people that was like yo you're the funniest person in the school i was kind of like right. chill but you know when i spoke it was funny yeah but i, I wouldn't consider myself a class clown but people mm -hmm. do did understand like when i started doing comedy they was like Oh, yeah, you was always funny, so yeah. I understand. It wasn't like an out-of-nowhere type of thing. Mm -hmm. but, Do yeah. you think humor is hereditary? Like, is your family funny? When they get drunk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they start drinking, they be saying some crazy <laughs> stuff, though. But, yeah, I definitely feel like it's a situation where it's like funny can't be taught. You mm -hmm. got to just have it. Right. Um, but I feel like my mom and dad got good personalities. My brothers and sisters, it's a little different story. But, uh -huh. you know, I feel like... I'm the baby of seven, so wow. I'm the one with the gift of being funny. But I think I always made them laugh, and they're a little older. They're mm -hmm. in their 60s. My parents are old. Okay. So, but I, I feel like, yeah, I always, I always feel like I've been funny. Do they put you on the spot at, like, family gatherings? Like, yo, no. do some stand-up right now. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> I don't perform for free. <laughs> I'm like, I'm here. I'm regular. Like, when uh -huh. I'm there, I'm just me. Like, uh -huh. I don't got to be chubs everywhere. So that's always good. Yeah. How do they feel about, you know, your success and, you know, this new path that you're on? Um, it's a little different. Uh, honestly, to be truthfully talking, my mommy really supported. She still kind of do but don't. Mm -hmm. She's a little older, so it's a little... She understand it, but it's she getting there. Mm -hmm. She's trying to understand a little bit. I, I, when I did a video with Friday with El Kuji, that was kind of like something. She's like, oh, wow. Like, right. That was crazy, but I don't know. I guess I guess when she get that new house. That's when, uh -huh, that's when it'll really like, hit. <laughs> like, oh, I'm moving. Yeah. <laughs> so, but other than that, um, all my friends and everything like that are super supportive. Um New supporters and fans definitely like that. They're definitely super supportive and everything like that. My uh, my sister, mm -hmm. everything like that. Yeah, people from went to school with are super supportive. So, oh, that's dope. I love that. Do you feel like you get a lot of love in Philly? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Nobody tried to do anything to me yet. Um. No, we're gonna rebuke that. <laughs> in the name yeah, of rebuke Jesus. that for sure. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, yeah, Philly. I feel like I got a lot of love there. Uh -huh. I feel like a lot of people. Like what I do. It's a lot I of talent coming different. out of Philly, For too. For sure. There's a lot of talent um, on both ends. Comedy, uh, music, entertainment, dancers, everything. I think Philly is a place where it's small, but there's a lot of talent there. And everybody doesn't get seen. Mm -hmm. But I definitely feel like it's a place where if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Okay. So. I like that. Yeah. Um, is it kind of, you know, humor is, um, how can I say, like, 
is subjective. Yeah. You know, like some people may find something funny and then other mm. people feel like it's not funny at all. How do you kind of stay motivated and inspired to keep going, you know, if you ever, you know, get that feedback? Um, you know, it's just you started this thing for a reason. So it's just like when you hear you wanna do what you need to do. So I feel like everybody isn't gonna find you funny. Like mm-hmm. There's greats that don't find the greats funny. It's people that don't even believe in God. So mm-hmm. who you? You can't please everybody. But right. all you can do is do what you need to do. Mm-hmm. You know. But you know, I think I'm pretty funny though, and that's all that matter. As long yes. as I'm in my and stuff like that. But. I love that. Um, obviously, like there's a big difference as well of like making videos on Instagram and then doing stand up and then doing other engagements. What's your favorite thing to do and how do you kind of tap into different parts of yourself mm-hmm. to kind of execute, you know, what you're thinking? I feel like um, in person, it's a thing when people meet me and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but stand up for sure. I think stand up is one of those situations where it's. It's right now. Like, you don't have no mess-ups. Like, yeah. it is like, a video you record, you mess up, that's it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I feel like standing in one of those situations and someone can say something in the crowd, and you just got to get right on their ass. Right. Like, like, so, gotta like, be one prompt. of those situations where it's cool, then it's, like, real feedback right now. Like, mm-hmm. if you just say a joke, everybody laugh. It's right there. Right. Guess it's like, you record it. Sometimes it's built on algorithm. Like, algorithm might not be liking you this week, so mm-hmm. it, you're not getting all the views. Because I didn't post a video, so I'm like, yo, this is the one. And then you post it and be like, huh, that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> so, it'd be like, it'd be crazy. So, it just kind of be like, I feel like in person, this is just better. Yeah, I feel like it's always a better vibe, and people can get to see you and really get to see you. And then after the show, really get to like engage with you. Mm-hmm. Where the internet is like, you can be in the middle of your back room, upload videos all day, and no one never see you. Right. So it's kind of like, and then from the OGs of comedy, they give you that respect. Right. They're like y'all, you really got hopped on that stage and did what you were supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So that's big. No, yeah, I love that because definitely like performing online and performing in person is two totally different things. Yeah. I've seen comedians on Instagram that I'm crying tears and then I see them in person and it's like, bro. What the fuck is that? Yeah, like <laughs> what? <laughs> like somebody writing that shit. You know? like, I don't know, but it'd be crazy. I'm happy that I'm able to translate from. Yeah, that's true talent. Internet to, you know, real life and on the stage and everything like that. And I'm only going to get better and better at it, but I've definitely met motherfuckers. I was like, oh, he funny. Then you meet him personally. Like, this nigga weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't really like this guy energy. But, uh-huh. you know, but I think it just come with it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like some people are just more comfortable right. in different situations and probably like them with their team, depending on who their cameraman is and who they have in it, they probably get comfortable with that. But comedy is one of those things like you can't get comfortable in it. If you do, you you, you done. Mm-hmm. So, um, How do you perfect your craft? Like, are you writing jokes? Are mm-hmm. you practicing in the mirror? Are you getting feedback from others? Like, what does it take for you to kind of, you know, pour into your work and make sure you constantly refining it and getting better? You gotta live life. Mm. <laughs> Comedy, one of those things. Like, you gotta some things you gotta live through, and some things you gotta live through others. Mm-hmm. So it's just like if you might be going through something, you might be telling me a story, and I might think of something like that. That's funny. So I think it's just one of those situations where you just always gotta look at the world as a creative place. And be able to be like, you know, I want to be able to create the best content it is. And the best content there is is relatable content. Right. But I always writing. I'm always writing jokes. I'm always trying to figure out, you know, different. Because I'm one of those comedians. Like, I like punchlines. Like, mm. I don't like to just do shit just because, like, my name Chuz. I'm just do fat ass shit. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm going to try to figure out ways to really say stuff. And, like, say punchlines and things. I like, kind of like some of my best moves remember certain quotes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, was, it, was it all about the Benjamins? I think the movie was like, no, that's not, is it? He was like, I'm about to go to the whites. He was like, the white suit, like the white around your mouth. That's like a quote mm-hmm. that everybody <laughs> remember. Like, that's a funny quote. That wasn't yeah. just, you know what I'm saying? So it was about trying to really just push that narrative. I'm trying to want to bring like that old school comedy back, like Bernie Mac and Eddie Murphy yes. and Richard Pryor and stuff like that. I feel like it's super sweet mm-hmm. out here now. It's just like, people just kind of like, I kind of want to bring that little, uh. Right. Back, back to the game. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel about comedians kind of, you know, touching on things when it comes to politics and like, you know, sexuality and all of like the taboo topics that, Mm -hmm. cause back in the days, like everything was just, you know, there was no limits. You could say whatever and like not get canceled and people would be dying laughing. Now everybody's so sensitive and you get canceled. Shit, I probably said some shit already. Get me canceled, <laughs> like you never know. 
but you can't really like play that. You know, you kind of, kind of just do. Always got to respect everybody' boundaries and understand that the world we live in is a little different from back in the day. Mm. So it's kind of like if that's what you do, there is a crowd for that though. I was one thing about the internet and the world it is now that everyone might not agree with that person, but there's a crowd for that type of you know comedian. So I definitely feel like. Whatever that works best for you, but you definitely gotta respect other people's decisions, respect other people's, you know, whatever the situation is. If, if they this, if they that, they want to yeah. be called this, want to be called that. Just respecting, just you know, you can I think make the jokes, but also show that like respecting it. You yeah. Know what I mean? So, so I like, should comedians kind of like tread lightly? Um, I ain't treading lightly. Uh huh. But I mean, yeah, in a way, like you got to because it's like you don't want to say something. And, like yeah, are you offended me? Like well, I knew I did, and that's just it. Like you don't want to right, be that right, type of right. person. You kind of want to respect everything. So, I, I definitely feel like, cause I am here, young people. Like I feel like stand up's not it no more because it's so sweet. And what you mean by like, sweet? Like it's just super like sensitive. It's like you can't say much. You can't. Some of the funniest jokes is the darkest things in the world. Like right. some of the funniest stuff is just things like. I was thinking that, but I wasn't going to say it. Yeah. So it's like the fact that sometimes you can't do that, but it's also like you got to find ways where you can. Mm-hmm. But it's uh, it's hard. It's hard. You got to just find the people and just do it a certain way. You got to be a little bit more creative now. Right. Have you know that. Like you're not that seeing balance. the milk and cookies joke like Bernie Mac. Like that's done. Uh-huh. Like it says, <laughs> you go ahead and say that, you might as well just get a job because it's done. <laughs> These people cancel you fast. Mm-hmm. They cancel you quick. Yep, they love you one day and hate you the next. Yeah, I've been, they love me right now, so I'm just keeping it. Right. Like, I ain't going to say nothing to y'all people. I promise to look your right in your eyes in the camera. I won't see nothing. Why the hell did the real light come on when I start looking in the camera? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just now turned my camera on or something? <laughs> I'm telling you, it was another spooky episode look, 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 for the record. The oh! I, there. Oh, I don't wait. I got some hidden <laughs> shit for real. <laughs> Yo, you should have been here earlier. The um, fucking floating shell fell off. And all type of shit. <laughs> I'm a Christian, you know, all this spooky shit around me and all that. Oh, Can God. I get an amen from the congregation? Amen. You know. <laughs> I love that. We just had Lighthouse on the show. He's a Christian rapper as well. So, you know, the spirit is definitely with us. The Holy Spirit, though. Yeah. So we covered, protected. Yeah, it is. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> How does your faith play a role in your career? It's big. You gotta mm. pray. You gotta pray. It's to the most high. You know, so I believe in my God and everything like that. I feel like without God, I won't be here. So it's one of those situations where I believe in God and thank God for the good and the bad. Yeah. Because some of the bad, you know, good always going to come out of it too. Sometimes you don't see it at that moment, but everything's going to make sense already at the end. So mm-hmm. God, has got to believe in something. I love that. Um, have you ever had kind of like a moment in your career so far where you're like, I manifested this, or I prayed for this, and it's now happening. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't talk to some girls I didn't think I wasn't going to talk to. <laughs> Yo, um, what's crazy is Lighthouse said the same thing. <laughs> Woo. The um, um, Christian artist that yeah. was here, he said he didn't think his uh, wife was going to, you know, I'm answer his DM. I'm about to say be his DM. wife, because yeah. he's Christian. You better be his wife. <laughs> 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 he said the same thing. What? He ain't saying nothing, bro. He was, yeah. <laughs> no, but no, seriously, um... No, definitely. I've definitely done some stuff, and I'd be like, that's crazy. Like, I always wanted to go to L.A. I just came back from L.A. like two, three months ago, and I was like, the first time I go to L.A., I wanted to be business. Mm-hmm. And I remember I said this probably like when I first started, 20, 2020 at least, and I was like, yo, when I start, I got to go to L.A. for business, because all my friends are going out there, and I'm like, I'm not going unless it's business. Yeah. And first time I went to L.A., I did a, a music video and everything like that, so that was like super crazy. Ooh, what video was that? Uh, Friday, Bad is in the Room. Okay, yeah, I was love you know, that song, love Friday, of course, mm-hmm. love Friday. Um, I'm telling. Yeah, and you, <laughs> <laughs> um, and you actually opened for his show um, mm-hmm. when he was on tour. Talk to me about that experience. Well, that was a crazy experience. Um, so his manager, I met him uh, through somebody. I was at a little baby concert, and I met um, somebody that connected me. Named Keratin, he connected me to Friday's manager. We got on the group chat one time, and uh, I seen that uh, Friday was touring. So I just like kind of like went in and was like, "Look, I'm about to just ask him. Listen, I want to open up wherever the case is. Uh, the five minutes, ten dope. minutes, wherever the case." And they like talked to the team and everything, and he was like, "Yep, we can do it." And he made a flyer up, and 
And I went out there and we had some fun. Just like that? Just like that. Nah. That's God for you. Yes. God did. God did. <laughs> but no, that was just like a crazy moment. It was a sold out crowd up. And I just went out there and I wrote nothing down. I'm on my way there. I'm with my friend, my friend driving. He's like, yo, you got anything you about to say? I'm like, no. Nah. He like, he was told me after he was like, yo, I was so nervous because you said you had nothing written down. You had no goal. <laughs> like it was just like you just go out there and I freestyled with it 10 minutes. And then I did like two fives. Between I did ten minutes, opened up the crowd, then I brought out an artist, came back, did a five, but another artist. I know then I brought out yeah. Did an artist, came back, did five, then brought out Friday. So yeah. Wow. So were you like hosting? Yeah, I was hosting, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Dope. it was just really just like doing with the crowd, stuff like that. But we know I got another one coming out. Um uh dope shows. That's supposed to be November fifteenth. Okay. That's Lil Dirk, G Herbo, forty two Doug, Cash Cobain. So I'm going to be hosting that one, too. Wow. Well, if you so need I'm a co-host, holla at me. You know, yeah. We, we, we treat like BT Awards or something like, something like that. Right. So I'm trying to do you know, the host and everything, too. I'm thinking about, you know, starting a little podcast or something like that. Call mm -hmm. it Grow With Chubb. Yeah. Probably just have people where, you know, bring some people on where we talk to different type of, you know, creators, artists, entrepreneurs, whatever the situation is. And I'm going to just sit there and I'll always have a good meal, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, my dad, <laughs> you come up there one time when we might eat some steak and potatoes, you know, with a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the big potatoes, <laughs> lobster fried hard, you know, shit like that. What's so, your favorite meal? Uh, coochie. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, uh, I'm trying to think. Extra uh, season yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra or lightly season? Uh, well, you know, is it season like the hair? <laughs> a little salt and pepper? Uh no, um, I'm crying. I definitely like I like I like wholesome <laughs> meals. I like I like soul food, like yams, mac and cheese. All right, we gotta <laughs> move on. <laughs> no, I really meant yams and mac and cheese. I mean, I'm <laughs> all right. Next, um, you've captured the attention, you know, of just so many people on social media from Jack Harlow, Meek Mill, to Rare, the list goes on and on. I want to know about the first moment, you know, that a celebrity or just somebody notable, you know, either commented on your video, you know, or like actually recognized yeah, your craft. When I first started, I had a video called How Dudes Be when they first get the SRT. I probably had like 2,000 followers. I was out Houston, Texas, and, um, I was just chilling in the Airbnb. I posted a video the day before, and Meek Mill reposted it. And uh, I was just chilling. My phone was going off. I answered my phone. My friend called me, like, yo, bro, what the fuck are you doing, man? I'm like, what? He's like, yo, like, Meek Mill just posted you. I'm like, what? I go and think, Meek Mill posted, he posted like 30 laughing emojis, six waves emojis, like <laughs> car emojis. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. I gained like two, 3,000 followers off that. And then he did it again, and then I'm just like, oh, that's crazy. Then I finally met him. That was super crazy. I seen him. I was just staring at him, like, because I didn't really know what to say. Like, uh -huh. You know, somebody might comment it, but I'm yeah. still, when I first seen him, I wasn't really, like, I probably had, like, close to probably 100,000, so I'm not really thinking he remembered me, and he didn't yeah. post me probably for a little while before, and then so I'm like, he probably posted, seen it, but he probably, like, probably thought, like, I don't know, he probably didn't see another video again. Mm -hmm. So when I seen him, then he looked, he looked at me, he seen me, he was like, what's up? He shook my hand. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, and I was like, yo, that me. But I was like, <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of like, that yeah. was like a crazy like experience. Because that was somebody like, I first started, he reposted and he did everything mm -hmm. like that. A few times and I finally seen him. He like showed love. He wasn't on like, sometimes you might be people in the piano, act like they don't really know you. Or right. Like, so, but. I feel like Meek always be, you know, showing love. Yeah, even though they And to being from Philly you know, too. Yeah, for sure. And I think he definitely, that definitely was something that pushed me. Like if Meek reposting and stuff like that, I feel like that was like a big push. Like one time when I was like, Dog, like I don't, I don't want to do this shit no more. Not literally like that, but I was mm -hmm. kind of like at my end with certain stuff. I would just be like, no, you got to keep going. People see something in you. Right. So, yeah. For but, sure. Yeah. Um, Do you like this kind of lifestyle, you know, of um, influencer, um, celebrity, entertainment, fast pace, um, you know? I'm still getting used to it a little bit, but uh, honestly... Yes, but no. Like I like it because I'm happy that I'm able to do something that I love doing. I know that come with it. But I always been private. Like I just made my Instagram, 2020. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an Instagram. I had no Twitter, no Instagram, wow. no Facebook, no Snapchat. I was always off. Why not? Scene. I don't know. Um, who that? Who y'all got coming up here? Yeah. I don't know. Somebody dressed up in a tracksuit. We filming right now. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna come grab y'all in like ten minutes. All right. 
<laughs> nigga, a NASCAR driver. Yo. Put this nigga on camera, man. <laughs> he said, all right. <laughs> He did like six emotes, <laughs> six emotes. Um, what was the question again? Um, oh, my, you, you, oh, oh, you oh, like I have an Instagram. Yeah. Um, um, my Instagram got deleted, and I was like, you know, I wasn't, I didn't really feel like making a new one. So after they deleted it, I was kind of like, whatever. I kind of liked it. it was like mysterious. Mm-hmm. Kind of like you. When's your serious. birthday? March thirtieth. Okay, Aries. Yeah, Aries. Okay. What? Was you got the same birthday? Yeah. Uh, two days after. Uh, are you April first? Oh, the 28th. Okay. Yeah. What's your sign? Guess what I give. Um, Capricorn. Really? No, I don't know. I didn't meet her like that. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> she only interviewed me. I can really judge her for an interview. You're entertained. Exactly. I don't know that. Listen, I am not a bad bitch. I did not. Uh, I'm so sorry. You're uh, Aquarius. A lot of people think I'm an Aquarius, but Am I close? Not give on me list? one more, one more. Leo. No. You're closer to Aquarius. Mm. Uh, what is it? Aquarius is water signs, correct? No, air. Oh, um, Gemini. Yes. Oh, you're like my mom. You're two faced. Oh my God, we Good got Lord. multiple faces. So not how would just I ever two. know you was two faced? Let's like leave this interview and you start talking shit. No. Well, that's the thing about Gemini. Funny. No, we get a bad rep. <laughs> we get a bad rep and it's really unfair mm. to us because we just got multiple sides to us. But we the farthest from fake because yeah. I will read anybody mm -hmm. in their face. You Did know? I give off Aries? Um, I could see that. You give off just like strong... You know, like masculine persona, uh -huh. and I feel like Aries and Leos and could, could, yeah, Tauruses, y'all yeah. could be very like that. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. Well, come, I'm not even an Aries, see? That's how I know this shit fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Virgo. Cat. <laughs> look at her, look at her face. Cat. Her. No, I'm really Aries. I'm really oh. Aries. Oh, you a Virgo? I don't know. Oh, you don't like Virgos? No, Virgo she, stand. The whenever, whenever a chick don't like a sign, that was her last nigga. Like, nigga <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like them Virgos. That's why I gave you that dirty look when you said that. Oh, shout out to that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he still got you. <laughs> all, all right, moving to. on. Um, <laughs> um, you know, you have so many endeavors right now. Is there anything that you particularly excited for? Um. I'm definitely excited for the new shows. I'm definitely excited for the uh, the podcast. I'm talking about the Grub with Chubb. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like that's going to be a different look. Something different that people I don't think really haven't seen me um, kind of do. Like it's a different side of me. Yeah. Um, I'm just excited just for like the new things that's coming upon. And, you know, we got some brands, some partnerships coming up and stuff okay. like that. Um, so I've just got a lot of things. Uh, stand up. Uh, we got a lot of shows coming up with that. Um, working on that, just trying to do like a stand-up show, my mm -hmm. own show, take that on tour, uh, everything like that. So I'm just excited just for all the new stuff that's just coming with it and all the new people that's now seeing me or the people who don't know me now seeing yeah. me and stuff like that, just embracing me. So I'm just excited. Dope. Just excited if you weren't that. doing comedy, what would you be doing? Shit, selling crack. Um, Cat. Selling <laughs> that's <laughs> not know? even your body. No, you know, that's how rappers <laughs> be like, you know, before this, I was selling dope. You know? <laughs> I was selling drugs. No, um... I don't know. I'll probably try to figure out to uh, do something. I'll probably be like a truck driver or something. Uh -huh. Do something like get me some real money. Like I'm one of those people. Like I'll probably be still ducked off with no Instagram. Uh -huh. Probably have me a... Um, probably, I probably I don't think I would live in Philly though. I feel like I wouldn't have much to really do here. I kind of want to like... I went to school in Houston. So I definitely oh, wow. feel like I would have stayed down there. Um, what school you went to? Texas Southern. Okay. HBCU. Okay. The what biggest. was your major? Uh, so I did like three of them. I really? did uh, sports marketing. I wanted to be a sports agent. They told me that shit's done. Dude showed me a hundred thousand dollar check. And he was like, you know, I got this because I knew his mom. And I signed his signed her son. And then he told me some other stories and agents, and they pay families a hundred thousand dollars for them to sign to their agency. I said, mm. yeah, that's done. But then after that, I want to do communication. They just tell you how to talk all day. I already know how to talk. That's then, what I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, enough, now I'm but, here. <laughs> well, well, see, but you probably did this really on you, though. Yeah, but, true. Yeah, true. But it's good, though. Um, Then I think I did journalism. No. I think I did. No, I think I. Could you do communication with journalism or something like that? Like, um, Yeah, broadcast, digital journalism. Yeah, yeah, broadcast then journalism. I, then I did business. 
And that's when I went to a, a junior college, and there was a bunch of people teach me about business who had no business. Mm. So I was kind of like, you know what? I think I'm going to just drop out. Yeah. I think, uh, I think some other shit out here for me. But at that time, and I already there, figured out was. that I could be. I, yeah. That's when I figured out that I could do comedy. Because I met all I, when I went down Houston, I literally had no friends, no family. I met all everybody down there wow. literally just being funny. And then I went to the next school. Everybody was like, yo, you so funny, you so funny. And everybody was just cool with me. I was fine. I should go to people's dorms and just be chilling. Everybody just be like, mm -hmm. listen to me, just talk about stuff all day. Everybody just be sitting there with their L, with their legs crossed, like, just laughing and shit. And I'll just be like, it was a gift. <laughs> like, I didn't yeah. know like, I could, like, you know, so. I'm happy that, you know, it all worked out. Yes, I love that. And that takes a lot to go literally across the country, down to the South, go to school there. Yeah. You know, change your major as many times as yeah, you did. Yeah, I was trying to really figure it out. Yeah. I was lost. I'm like, yo, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh-huh. I'm like, yo, things is, things is getting weird out here. They ain't telling you at the high school it get tricky. Yeah. Well, I was like, yo, I'm going to be a bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to really figure it out because it's hard because you really don't know yourself when you leave high school. You just you like, don't get bum though. No, nah, like. yeah, but that that time I gave bum because I knew <laughs> I didn't want a job like mm -hmm. a regular like yeah because I'm not thinking of jobs like I'm thinking the only best jobs there is is lawyers and doctors. All those is like degrees, and I'm like I'm not really into that. So I'm like yeah, else can you get a lot of money? I really didn't know. Like I didn't think. And you look at rappers. I'm thinking like, then they always told you like Illuminati and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> man, I gotta sell my soul to like be an artist or something. Like, right. No, it was like weird. I didn't really know. I didn't wasn't really educated on like life and like business and stuff like that. But the more I start learning and start doing this and learning, meeting new people, I started to be educated. Like, there's so much stuff you can do. Like you can make money selling socks. You can make money doing this. Make money doing that. Mm -hmm. People that make money doing hair. I didn't do that. Yeah. I thought people like I thought like doing hair probably getting a hustle was like really like a side hustle. Like, oh yeah, she just do hair. I didn't know people have real shops and multiple shops just doing hair. Right. So and full like, blown like, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So it was just crazy, like no techs and lash techs and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, my girlfriend at the time she wasn't really like getting stuff like that. So I didn't really know like uh -huh. there was a thing. Like I didn't know that she was going to a, a hairstylist, like but it's crazy though. So much ways to make money now. Mm -hmm. And social media, I wasn't on it. Yeah. So. Well, I'm sure you know now. Like social yeah. media is definitely one of the biggest tools. There's so yeah. much free bread on there yeah. that it makes no sense to not be getting yeah. money Anybody on social can media. Be, no matter who you are, you mm -hmm. probably get on that goddamn internet. Like, yep. Make some money. What's your advice to content creators out there? People who really want to put their foot on, you know, the internet's next mm -hmm. and beat the algorithm and have trendy, relevant content and really grow their digital brand. I really, my advice to you is keep going. And I know that sounds like cliche, but it really is one of those situations. But the more to say just than that, I definitely feel like do the content that makes you happy. Make Bring people into your world. Don't Try to look at other people and be like, oh, I'm trying to be like them. Be inspired. Always truly be inspired. Always be a you know, a student to everything you do, no matter what it is. But I feel like you got to always listen, always be able to take something from everyone, no matter what the situation is. Are they more successful than you? Are they less successful than you? More money than you? Less money than you? You can always learn something from somebody. But bring people into your world. The reason that you know people like you is for you. So make everyone like you for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to be like everybody else because you get caught up in that. Try mm -hmm. to be like somebody else or try mm -hmm. to like follow. There's no blueprint. You is the blueprint. So. Yeah. yeah. Is there any like tips or tricks you could give content creators out there? Nope. Holding on to the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Say no. Uh, definitely learn your algorithm. Learn when to post. I think that's big. I mean, you can have the greatest content, but if you're posting that shit at 2 o'clock in the morning and nobody on at 2 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. it don't matter. So learn your algorithm. You got to be a geek to what you do. Like you yeah. should know everything. Like you study Instagram, study TikTok, study Facebook, study Twitter, study YouTube, all that. Mm -hmm. Study the the background. Not just study people videos. Study your algorithm. Post different times. Try different things. Don't be opposed to not to trying certain stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you gotta just really just try different things and test it out. Especially in the beginning. The beginning is the best part because there's not many people watching you. Mm -hmm. So you can try anything you want. You can mm -hmm. shoot it this way, shoot it that way, see it this way, see it that way. It don't matter because it's just you and. A couple thousand people, a couple hundred people. Mm -hmm. So when you're at a point where you're at hundreds of thousands and millions, it's kind of like hard because people like you for what you've been doing. Yeah. So it's kind of like when you're at those beginning stages, the best stages. Do whatever you want. Dope. What do you think is the funniest video you've made to date? I don't think I made it yet. Mm. I don't think I made it yet. But okay. I feel like um, there's some videos on there. I feel like it was to whatever your life. 
I don't know. Have you like really went through like my videos, like my catalog of things? Um, yeah, I have. Do I've you, seen you before you came. <laughs> no, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, do you have a do you have a favorite video? Um, I don't have a favorite. Yeah, or one that you feel like relatable. Mm, I would have to pull it up. Yeah. But. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like it's whatever your lifestyle is. Yeah. You know, whatever you feel like relate to you, but I don't think I mean my my favorite video yet. Okay. It's on the way though. All right, on the way. I mean, a lot of things are on the way. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so yeah. definitely excited for that. We like to do something here called your daily gem. Okay. Um, all pun intended. So I want you to just look in the third camera, introduce yourself, mm -hmm. and give people a daily gem for them watching out there. My daily gem to you is wash your ass today. Introduce yourself. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. My name is Joe Chubbs. We're here. At Hidden Gym, right? Hidden Gym, right? Hidden. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Do that again, y'all. Uh, fucked up. Run it back. Uh, hello, my name is Joe Chubbs, upcoming comedian, actor, and writer. My daily gym to you is wash your ass. It stinks. No one likes it. You can smell yourself, so others can smell you too. So grab that deodorant, grab that soap, grab that rag. If you're a guy, it's okay to get that rag between your ass. It's not gay. It's just clean. Be cleaner. Be better. Be yourself. You chose. Yeah, I could give it up for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm happy that you added the, you know, rag in between the cheeks because yeah. I've definitely had a whole debate with people, with guys regarding this. And that's just a P, a big PSA that needs to be out yeah, there. So my, I appreciate my, my, my that, Daily Chef. My homie, I was like, yeah, Bob, I opened up my butt cheeks and put the rag in. He took my balls. <laughs> I said, oh, <laughs> you're nasty. <laughs> oh, you're dirty. Like, yo, what you mean, pause? That's not a pause. That's clean, brother. right? Sometimes like, so what you do? You tomorrow throw when the water run down, run yo, down your back? No. One of, bro, like, one of my just... guy friends, he was like, I just power wash. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's power wash. And then he said, oh, you're trying to call me dirty? And I'm like. What's a I, power wash? Like, you treat, just you treat like... your body like a car? Like, like kind of like a car wash? You just. I guess like let like the yeah, water just let the water like power wash. Like. No, that's <laughs> disgusting, bro. That's bro. Open it up with both your hands and let the water hit it, bro. And you can put a little finger in there, just a tip. <laughs> you can do that, bro. It's just you in the shower, bro. Don't think of nobody when you're doing it. Just it's okay, bro. It's okay. What that's soap nasty. do you use? Um, well, this is not gonna be. Someone put me on this, but I do the um. The Dove unscented. Uh huh. And then I comb. I do that. And then I do the um. No, the dial. Okay, dial the antibacterial. Dial. Yeah, that, the white bar go. or the yellow bar. The white bar. Okay. The the white bar, and then I do the um. What's the uh? Those like fake, not fake. Those Target the brands. Those expensive ass soups. The the one that's like a a pink bottle, like it has rose water and lavender and something like that. Native. It might be native. Five. Native and one of them. A what? I don't know, one of them. Okay. It's just like $11. Right. I think it, I think it like <laughs> smell good, but that's just, yeah, that's what I use. Well, we love a good hygiene routine. Yeah, you ain't smell me when I walked in here? Yeah, I was like, what is that? It wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Say, no, that's fucked up. Damn, fat niggas stink. Nah. <laughs> Take no, those seat I'm not covers gonna, off. <laughs> yo, I'm not going to lie, though. Bigger dudes, I feel like y'all be smelling good. Yeah. Like, y'all really know what to do. some skinny, scrawny niggas, right? Right? <laughs> that be <laughs> dirty and musty. Skinny, scrawny niggas is nasty, yeah. Yeah, you tall. Yeah, you in shape, but you're dirty. <laughs> I'm fine. Can't have everything. <laughs> they say y'all got all the other shit, too. So that's cool. Like, yeah, but you're nasty. A yeah. Stink. Yeah. Well, so. definitely dropped a lot of gems on us yeah. today. Appreciate you, Yo Chubbs, for being you here. So much. Thank you. Thank you. I have so much fun. Yes. Let the people know what's coming next, um, what they can expect. You know, make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms. That's at Yo Chubbs. That's Y O C H U B B S. Yes, it's two B's. I'll be seeing y'all pick one B. It don't work like that. But, you know, uh, stand up's coming up. We got some shows coming up. We got the podcast coming up and everything like that. So make sure y'all tap in. And everything like that. Got some music videos coming out. You know, we got a movie that I'm working on. Okay. Like that, so. Getting into the acting bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we acting. Yes. We acting, so. I mean, um, you know, everybody just tap in, you know. 
I love that. Well, I can't wait to see you on the big screen. Yes, thank you so Yo, much. Yo, Chubbs, you. I'm your host, Kami Gomez. This is for the record. <laughs>